the Arnold Newman photograph of Igor Stravinsky is actually more like one of my favorite pictures. <laughs> you know, I mean, even though the Cartier Bresson is cool, I don't know what it is. There's something about the composition, the cropping, which is interesting. So, uh, so Arnold Newman took this very early in his career. He was about 28 years old. I think it was an assignment for Harper's Bazaar magazine. And I don't even think that the photo editor liked the picture that he turned in. Uh, if you see the uncropped version of this, it's really just like a guy sitting at a piano. It's not that interesting. It's surprising how uninteresting it is. And it's the kind of picture any of us would have taken. You know, if you take a picture of this person, he's sitting at a piano. But when it's cropped, there's so many cool things that are going on here. The, the lighting and the shadows and the, and the way this is almost like a, like a musical note. Uh, the, the way that his head's held up with his hand, almost the way that the piano is held up by the post. The triangles, I, I mean, there's, I mean, you can just sit and stare at this all day. It's just, it's, it's a, a beautiful set of cool shapes. And the, the subject is sort of way over here. And it reminds me, you know, you read photo books and there's always talk of like people center all the time and, and you say, oh, you don't have to put the subject in the center. And then there's like rules of thirds that they tell you that's what you, that's the artist's way to do it. But this isn't even a rule of thirds. He's shoved the subject way off to the edge here. And yet it's a fantastic composition. I mean, I'm not even sure what he, like how he, I don't know. You, you, it's what I mean by saying that you can't describe it. You couldn't put this in a book. It's not a rule, but I think it gives you license. When I look at this, it gives me license to play around with where subjects are in my frames and to think about cropping, to think that sometimes it's not the way you shot it. Sometimes you need to get into your post-production and really look at this image and decide what is the way you want to compose it. It's great if you can compose in camera and if your full negative, your full frame is the picture that you're printing. But I guess it's a, it's a gentle reminder that that isn't always the case and sometimes the best pictures are literally created after the fact. I love this picture. <laughs>